the kingdom protista <clears throat> the introduction about the kingdom protista first of all we will discuss about uh, some reasons why the kingdom protista wanted to create the kingdom protista consists of organisms whose diverse body forms types of reproduction modes of nutrition and lifestyles make them difficult to characterize basically this kingdom is defined by exclusion from all other members that have characteristics of such type of the members and excluded them from the other four kingdoms the scientists found it to be placed certain eukaryotes in appropriate kingdom this difficulty is the consequent of the fact that the other eukaryotic kingdom have their origin from the kingdom protista to uh, generally scientists ye kehte hain ke jitne bhi jandar hain wo kingdom protista se hi evolve hue hain wahan se hi inka origin hua that's why this kingdom protista has been placed in different kingdom and different placement of the classification the other eukaryotic kingdom that is known as the kingdom planty kingdom animalia kingdom fungi arose from this protist in various ways the other characteristics of the kingdom protista most of the organisms present in this kingdom are aquatic or uh, they live in the water all protists are eukaryotes and have evolved from prokaryotes these are unicellular colonial or simple multicellular organisms their eukaryotic features are similar to plants and animal but unlike them not develop from the blastula and embryos inke sari khususiyat eukaryotic cell se khudi milti julti hain lekin inme jo cheeze develop nahi hoti jo developmental stages nahi aati wo blastula aur embryonic stages hain jiski wajah se isko leather kingdom mein rakha jata hai the division of kingdom protista the kingdom protista consist of four major divisions or groups of eukaryotic organisms which are as follows number 1 the protozoans protozoans are the animal like protists whereas the unicellular algae they are plant like protists multicellular algae they are plant like protists slime mold uh, slime molds and water molds they are fungus like protist however just like that of the other organisms the protists are just like that of the historical perspective of the kingdom protista work of some scientist related to formation of kingdom protista is given below the work of john hogg in 1861 john hogg proposed the kingdom Pro protista the word the protista for microscopic organisms in 1866 ernst haeckel suggested creating the kingdom protista to include bacteria and other microorganism such as the euglena that kingdom he however separated blue green algae and the bacteria which is the prokaryotes from the nucleated process and place them in the separate group he called the monera within the kingdom protista in 1938 hubbard cooperland elevated the prokaryotes to kingdom status 
thus separating them from protista. In Fine Kingdom of Classification, the Robert Whitaker in 1969, only unicellular proteus were placed in Kingdom Protista. Nowadays or currently, this kingdom also includes colonial and simple multicellular eukaryotes as well. The Margulis and the Shorts in 1988 modified the five kingdom system of classification. The kingdom protista or the protoctista is one of the five kingdoms. The diversity in among the uh, kingdom protista during the course of evolutionary history, organisms in kingdom protista have evolved diversity in their size and structure, mean of locomotion, ways of obtaining nutrients, interactions with other organisms, habitat and mode of the reproductions. The diversity is exhibited by all of the major protist groups. Based on the diversity, most biologists regard the protist kingdoms as a polyphyletic group of the organisms. That is, the protists probably do not share a single common ancestor. Margulis and Schwarz have listed 27 phyla to accommodate this diverse assemblage of the organisms. 